This is the IVP video Puro box for November. This is kind of like the subscription box services only. There's no subscription there. It's just on the store at IVPvideos.com. Uh, we'll put the link down here below. But it's for people that's uh, into wrestling. This is like a wrestling thing. And you pay, I believe it's $14.99 a month. And, uh, or you don't pay per month. You go pay it that month if you want the package. And it's got a theme, and I believe it's got seven DVDs and one Blu-ray in this. Um, if you're not familiar with IVP videos, it's probably, maybe not the only place to get Japanese wrestling uh, movies, but definitely the most convenient and the cheapest. They have a lot of compilations on there from FMW and NOAA and All Japan, New Japan, AAA, I believe, and, and stuff like that from Mexico, Japan, and pretty well anywhere around the world. Uh, the DVDs a lot of time are on DVD-Rs. There's no cover art to some of them, but they're only like $2.99 when you buy them that way. But they also now have Blu-rays of various quality depending on the source, and they cram usually six to eight hours worth of material on the Blu-rays. And uh, they're, I believe, $9.99 each. But this is the Puro box, like I said. So it's like a mystery thing. It has a theme to it. And each month, if you if you get this, you get, I believe it's seven of the uh, DVDs and one of the Blu-rays, and there's a theme to it uh, last month. It was like uh, a mass theme, uh, theme, so everything anybody got last month consisted of, uh, you know, like mask wrestlers or luchadors, and for some reason I think there was a Virgil, uh, Best of Virgil in there, which I think was probably just a good joke, I suppose. Uh, who knows? I didn't get that last month, but this is the November one, and the theme for, for this month was uh, promotional highlights, which I would imagine is just best ofs for various promotions. Uh, now this is, I guess, what you would call an unboxing or an unbubbling, but I went ahead and I've unsealed this, as you can see, because it just gets awkward. Most of the time you see people try to open these things by the recording, but I'm not looked inside of it yet. You can peek in, as you see here, you see there is a Blu-ray and a stack of the DVDs there. Uh, I will read what it says on the website here real quick before I get into this, if you're interested in it. Like I said, the link to IVP videos is below. I knew about them for years myself, but this is the first thing I've ever actually gotten from them. Although, uh, I guess if you really want to learn a lot about some Puro, Japanese, whatever, wrestling, uh, you can go there and grab a lot of the compilations or best ofs and get caught up on whatever promotion or wrestler you want to get caught up on rather quickly. Uh, there is a Blu-ray compilation, like I said, in this with a cover art, because a lot of the stuff don't come with cover arts because they're so cheap. But you can get more pricier products that does have cover art and cases and whatnot. And for the other stuff, you just make your own case, which is probably what I'll do for the ones in here that uh, don't have cases, because I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to things like that. And uh, you can't beat the value, like I said, but me, I like having cases for some stuff, so I'll probably make cases for them later. But like I said, in this there is a Blu-ray compilation with cover art, and the Blu-ray that is in this, you won't be able to buy it for at least, I think, two months. Like the Blu-ray that's in this, you won't be able to get it on the store by itself until December the 15th. If you do buy it by itself, it will be uh, $9.99. Of course, it's covered up in here. There are five DVDs of, uh, really, anything. It could be anything, because the catalog at IPP Videos goes so deep and covers so much ground, you really don't know. This, this could be anything. Uh, two of the DVDs in here are not on the website. They says right here they could be pretty much anything. It's a surprise. They have a retail value of $5.99. This uh, particular box here, Puro Box, will be available all through November. Like I said, it's not a subscription service like Horrorblock or any of that stuff. You just go and if you want to get it. It's basically a sampler, but it's a mystery sampler. So there's that. Uh, as I said here, as we're about to dive into this, is the theme for this month was uh, promotional highlights. So as we remove this, you'll see there's the stack, and of course this is a match list, and we won't we won't use this yet because this is a spoiler, really, for what's on the disc. So we'll just set this aside for now and just get into the actual things here. The first thing we have is the best of the WWWF 1970s Volume One. I can imagine that would be like Bob Backlund and Billy Graham and maybe some Sam Martino or whatnot because this was the course of really, for those of you who don't know, if anyone don't knows, the WWWF would eventually be the WWF, which of course is now WWE. So that's the first one. The second one 
best of the WWF Volume 1. So we're going up there. And I heard to a little birdie that this is actually, this of course this is one of the ones I believe is not on the site. And this is a basically a rip of the uh, best of the WWF Volume 1 VHS tape that came out with Coliseum Video years ago. I remember that as a kid, but I don't have it. I have like one of them, but I don't have Volume 1. Uh, getting to the Japanese stuff now, we have the best of FMW Volume 1. FMW, which was kind of the predecessor, or at least the influence, to a big part, for uh, ECW. There were such stars there as Hayabusa, uh, Mr. Pogo, of course Onita, who was like the man there. Still the man, still wrestling today. Best of IWA Japan Volume 1. I don't know much about IWA Japan, other than I believe it was a deathmatch promotion, which... Uh, I, back in my day, I used to really like death matches, and so now I'm a little more into the work rate, but I've just never seen that, so uh, that's fine for me. Best of Global, Volume 1. I would imagine this is probably what used to come on ESPN uh, when Harlem Heat was, like, what was it, the, the Ebony Experience, and uh, the Patriot was, like, the man there, if you remember that. Uh, Best of Zero One in 2006, Part 1. I believe that will feature people like Masato Tanaka and Steve Carino, many more that I don't know. I've heard of the promotion, never seen it, so I'm really looking forward to that. The last of the DVDs is the best of All Japan Wrestling, AJW, 1980s. All Japan was like the, I think like the WCW to New Japan's WWF, basically, in Japan. Um, I think that was how, would have, be how you would describe it. Um, Never really seen much of it. I know Vader and people like that come from there, so so that's good. And this is from the 80s, so this is like, I think, pre-Vader. So, pre-Vader, maybe maybe not pre-Hanson, though. But that's definitely one that's going to have some good stuff on it. Now, each of these, I think they're about maybe two hours in length each. So that's a lot of wrestling right there. And now the big one, or the big one in my opinion, is a very, very good one, is the best of New Japan wrestling in the 1990s. Now this is the Blu-ray, which features probably six to eight hours of uh, New Japan, or excuse me, all of yeah, New Japan pro wrestling. And uh, I'm a big fan of New Japan right now. Uh, back then, there's lots of fear that I've heard of. I want to see, like, just looking on the back of this real quick, just to give you a sample of what's on it. we got stuff going from 96 all the way to, well, 94 to 96, it looks like, 98. This is, of course, in the 90s. Just say that best of New Japan in the 90s. Uh, already looking at the back here. We got Vader versus Dan Hansen in a super fight from 98. Uh, Muta and Chono versus Hase and Saiki, or Sasuke, I should say Sasuke, I do believe. Uh, Jushin Liger versus Shinjaro Ohtani. Like I said, Tennessee people, we can't say uh, Japanese names very well, but basically, Pegasus Kid versus El Samurai, 93. Uh, you know, 93 finals there of that tournament, but uh, so that's a little Benoit action in there. But like I said, this, uh, or at least Pegasus Kid, but I believe Pegasus Kid was with Benoit, right? You have to school me on that in the comments. But like I said, when you open it up, there's the disc all snug and sound in the uh, in the case there. But this is the one that actually comes. Okay, so, so there you have it, though. So that's all of that for. What is listed on the side is $14.99 plus shipping and, and handling will be added to the $14.99. So you can't beat it, basically, folks. You can't beat it. Like I said, here's the match listing. That'll tell you everything that is on this. Uh, just looking at it right now, I was right. The uh, best of the WWF I one was the Coliseum home video release. Got good stuff on that. Like Hogan and Andre versus Big John Studd, Adrian Donaldson, and Dick Murdoch. Handicap match is the first match on that. Like I said, I don't want to spoil it because... I really think that uh, some of this would be more fun if you just dive in it yourself. But as you can see here for like the Blu-ray listing and stuff, which this camera's never going to pick that up. You can see that's all from the from the New Japan. And of course, this is match list and some other stuff. So definitely uh, something I would say is a winner in my book. So if you like wrestling like I do, definitely go to ipvideo.com. The link is below and uh, pick this up. And if you prefer just this stuff solo. You can find most of it on the site. You won't be able to find this until December the 15th, but uh, there's other cool Blu-rays there packed with stuff from uh, Noah and Ric Flair compilations, among other things. So uh, 
definitely this stuff gives a thumb up for me and I think it's something I'll be uh, venturing out to experience again in the future but like I said this is IVP IVP video uh, drill box for November so if you see what you what you like and like what you see then uh, click on down there and check this out